Today, we shall witness the harrowing struggle of a peg-legged pirate searching frantically for her lost offspring. This particular species of pirate is known for its strong maternal instinct. She will need every ounce of it as things are about to go horribly wrong. The offspring in question was born with a genetic syndrome so rare, doctors have not yet named it. Though footless, the peg-legged mother dutifully takes her daughter to physical therapy, little guessing that she's about to lose her, possibly forever. The session gets off on the wrong foot when the therapist announces that the child will be biking around the hospital on an adaptive tricycle. Strengthening the youngling's legs is critical to survival, as the child will need that strength to flee from predators, such as her teenage brother. <laughs> But how can the peg-legged pirate keep up during this critical training session while her daughter is most vulnerable? Contrary to popular belief, running on a peg leg is impossible without cheating. The peg-legged pirate will need to acquire a trike of her own if she is to have any hope of keeping up. The difficulties of uniped pedaling are immediately apparent, but once she gets a little momentum, the peg-legged pirate is able to pedal with her only remaining foot. But by then, it's too late. Her daughter has vanished. Catch me if you can, mommy. Hearing the pitiful cry for help, the pirate hastens to find her offspring. But can she find her in time amid the twisting labyrinth of a modern hospital? Ignoring the stares of bemused bystanders, he made some strange looks. The pirate pedals faster and faster. How could her disabled child have gotten so lost so quickly? She must have. Wait, <gasps> what was that? I see you. The pirate can't believe her eyes. This is worse than she thought. Her offspring and the physical therapist have joined forces. This is serious. The therapist is an insider who knows the terrain far better than the pirate, and being a two-legger, he can easily outmaneuver the pirate. The physical therapist is also a martial artist and could attack at any moment. Our pirate will have to watch her step. I think it's time. Ready or not, here I come. Hurriedly, she performs a U-turn, knowing that if she doesn't make haste, her offspring could vanish. Except the turn proves difficult. Stopping to look out the window was a costly mistake. Uh-oh. Inertia is her enemy. She grapples with the unpleasant truth that an object at rest tends to remain at rest. Narrowly avoiding plummeting into a cavernous stairwell. Stairs. She turns her ship around and begins pedaling with all her one-legged might. By the time she makes it to where she lives her child, her offspring has indeed vanished. Where'd she go? Where? Where could Arya be? The pirate is getting frantic now. The clock is ticking. She's not in the tree. The hospital will soon close. If the pirate fails to locate her offspring and save her from the clutches of the physical therapist, then she could lose her forever, leaving her alone in the world. I wonder if she's cheated. She's supposed to stay on this floor. The pirate plunges deeper into the bowels of the hospital. Medical records. That seems probable. Uh oh. Our pirate finds herself in the cardiac unit, realizing that she has strayed into forbidden territory. <laughs> The pirate must flee swiftly before she is apprehended. Blessedly, the nurse appears to have stepped away from her station, or the pirate would have surely been spotted immediately. But with the difficulties of starting and stopping, can the peg-legged pirate successfully execute the 20-point turn necessary to her escape? Breathlessly, she completes the first turn, then the next, and the next. The nurse could reappear at any moment. Tensions are high. She made it. I don't think I was supposed to be there. Run away. I didn't mean to end up in cardiac rehab. Gave me a heart attack now. I'm going to need cardiac rehab. Periodically, she is taunted by the sound of laughter. <laughs> Whenever she draws near, all she finds are deserted corridors and the dirges of her hope. This bizarre game of hide and seek isn't fun and games. The hunt has already dragged on far longer than expected. Nearly an hour has elapsed, and with a local guide directing her daughter's every move, the pirate begins to despair of ever finding her child. 
worse, the daughter seems to be reveling in the fact that she is successfully evading her mother, completely forgetting that she is dependent upon her mother for survival. Clearly, the physical therapist has brainwashed the child. This is unfair. My opponent knows the terrain better than I do, and it's two on one, or two on point nine. Like I said, unfair. If mother and child are not reunited soon, the child will be forced to live the remainder of her days in the sterile halls of the hospital, scrounging the cafeteria to get enough food just to survive. A grim fate indeed. Despite appearances and embarrassed nods to passers-by, the peg-legged pirate is sincerely wondering if she will succeed in finding her only daughter when, finally, <laughs> it was an exhausting day for the peg-legged pirate. Despite her lost limb, she has saved her daughter from a rogue physical therapist and certain doom. They return home, grateful to be reunited. So ends yet another day in the life of the peg-legged pirate. They parked right here, and I laid down on the floor with my head Wait. around that garbage can. There? So you wouldn't see, uh, and she was parked. And I went that way. And I was way. waiting. If you'd have gone this way, we would have looped that way. You and then for a while we went down there. We Wait, I thought emergency was off limits. No, just second floor. Yeah, but like emergencies are over there. Come on. That's plenty. We had to get away from you. 